Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right those games and graphics we are making a building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you and today we're doing an updated video on how to install add-on vehicle spawner this one right here is created by IKT shout out to the creator once you get down to this page always read the full description after you're done reading the full description come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download now let's go ahead and jump into the requirements we are going to need script v and script v.net if you don't have those i will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install those if you don't have them already so once you have your requirements installed and your add-on vehicle spawner downloaded on my left hand side i have one download which is add-on spawner and on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go i have all of my requirements installed what we need to do is go to our downloads and open up the add-on spawner folder inside that add-on spawner folder we want to highlight these two right here the add-on spawner folder and the add-on spawner file okay we're going to highlight those two and drag and drop both of those to our gta 5 directory just drag and drop I already have it as you can see now let's go into the images if you wanted to add images for add-on vehicles that you might want to use this for what you want to do is go to your gta 5 directory and open up the add-on spawner folder and inside there you're going to have a img folder short for images and open up that folder and inside you will only have this one right here okay so if you wanted to put any other images in here for your vehicle this is where you put it at and make sure that your vehicle has the same name as the dlc of your vehicle okay so once you have uh that done if you're installing this for um add-on vehicles as well as other vehicles let's go ahead and minimize any of the windows that we might have open and run the game all right, once you spawn into the game, what you want to do is press your function key F5. Function key F5 is going to open up the add-on spawner in the top left of the screen. First option is settings. When you click on settings, you'll have the options to uh, spawn inside the vehicle. Uh, spawn in place, enable persistence, spawn by name, categorize by name. List all DLCs, merge DLCs, enable search menu, and reload previews and reload user DLC, as well as clean up image preview folder. All right, so those are going to be uh, the options inside the settings. And if you go back and go to the main menu of add on spawner, you will have the next option down, which is search vehicles. When you select that, it will be on add on vehicles, and any add on vehicles that you have installed will be right here. So like that uh, GG IROC right here that I had showed earlier, I have a picture for that one as well right here. My other one, I didn't make a picture. I only made one for this one for the tutorial. And if you go up uh, to search in, you could also change that to game vehicles by pressing over and you will have all of the game vehicles right here. It's about 817 that's listed right here. So you will have add-on vehicles and game vehicles right here. And if you press the back button and go down to the next one, um, you will have the option to spawn by name. You will have to spell the car's name out. Then you have spawn official DLCs right here. So you can go to the DLCs and um, go inside of them and spawn whatever that you want inside of those. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go back, go down, and the next one is going to be muscle for my add-on vehicles right here if you don't have any add-on vehicles uh, you will only have these first four options settings search vehicles spawn by name and spawn official dlcs all right so i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in my car right here as you can see it spawns it in and you could adjust it if you want the character to spawn in the car or outside the car inside of the settings right here spawn inside vehicle just uncheck it if you want them to spawn outside the vehicle like next to the vehicle 
or if you want the vehicle to spawn next to your character, should I say. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and take my paparazzi drive around the city. But if this helped y'all out to install it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in my GTA 5 guys. Games grab it's me and a big ballin' ass Frank. We are out of here till next time, yo. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.